In the vast world of aviation, two giants have long battled for the title of King of the Skies. On one side, we have the legendary Boeing 747, the original jumbo jet. It is an aircraft that truly democratized air travel for millions of people. Its iconic hump and massive size made it a symbol of power and luxury for decades. On the other side stands the Challenger, the Airbus A380, a modern marvel of engineering. The A380 is the world's largest passenger airliner, a true double-decker giant designed to offer unparalleled space and comfort. This is the story of their incredible rivalry, a clash that defined an era of long-haul travel and pushed the boundaries of what was possible in the sky. The Boeing 747, often called the Queen of the Skies, is instantly recognisable. Its most distinctive feature is the raised cockpit and the resulting hump. This unique design was originally intended to allow for a front cargo door, as Boeing believed supersonic jets would soon take over passenger travel. The 747 is powered by four massive engines, slung under its long, swept-back wings. It's a design that has stood the test of time, evolving through various models like the popular 747-400 and the more recent 747-8. For over 50 years, the sight of a 747 taking off has been a spectacle, a testament to its enduring legacy and powerful presence on any runway. Then came the Airbus A380, the super jumbo. When it first appeared, it looked like something from the future. The A380 is a full-length two-story aircraft. This means it has two complete passenger decks running from the front to the back of the plane. This incredible design gives it a massive interior volume, far more than any other commercial aircraft. Like the 747, it uses four powerful engines, either from Rolls-Royce or the Engine Alliance. The sheer scale of the A380 is breathtaking. Its wingspan is so wide that many airports had to build special gates and widen taxiways just to accommodate it. It was built to be the ultimate long-haul people mover. The core difference between these two magnificent aircraft lies in their design philosophy. The Boeing 747 was born in the 1960s, a revolutionary product that doubled the capacity of its predecessors. Its design was a mix of forward-thinking ideas and practical solutions. The Airbus A380, arriving decades later in the 2000s, was Airbus's bold answer to the 747's dominance. It was designed from the ground up to be bigger, quieter and more efficient per passenger. This fundamental difference in their origins and design goals set the stage for a fascinating competition that captured the imagination of travellers and aviation enthusiasts all around the globe. This is more than just a story of two planes. It's a story of ambition. The story of the Boeing 747 begins in the mid-1960s. Pan Am, a leading airline at the time, wanted a much larger plane to lower seat costs and handle the growing demand for air travel. Boeing took on the challenge. The result was the 747, an aircraft so large that Boeing had to build a new factory in Everett, Washington, just to assemble it. This factory remains the largest building in the world by volume. The first 747 took its maiden flight in 1969 and entered service with Pan Am in 1970. It was an instant sensation. Suddenly, international travel was no longer just for the rich. The 747 made the world smaller for everyone. For over three decades, the 747 ruled the skies without a true competitor. But in Europe, a new consortium named Airbus was rising. Airbus believed that the future of long-haul travel involved flying large numbers of passengers between major hub airports. They envisioned an even bigger aircraft, one that would eclipse the 747 in every way. This ambitious project became the A380. Development was a massive international effort with parts being built all across Europe and transported by special ships and trucks for final assembly in Toulouse, France. The A380 programme was a huge gamble, but Airbus was determined to build the ultimate passenger plane. The Airbus A381 flew in 2005 and entered commercial service with Singapore Airlines in 2007. It was a game-changer for the passenger experience. Airlines used its vast space to install incredible amenities like onboard bars, lounges and even private suites with beds. 
For passengers, especially those flying in premium cabins, the A380 offered a level of quietness and smoothness that was simply unmatched. It was big, it was quiet, and it was incredibly comfortable. The A380 represented a new peak of luxury and comfort in air travel, setting a new standard for what a long-haul flight could be for those lucky enough to fly on one. However, the history of these two jets also shows a shift in the aviation industry. The 747 was created for a hub-and-spoke model, where people flew from smaller cities to a large hub airport to catch a long-haul flight. The A380 was designed to perfect this model, but over time airlines began to prefer smaller, more fuel-efficient twin-engine jets like the Boeing 777 and Airbus A350. These newer planes could fly long-haul routes directly between smaller cities, bypassing the big hubs. This point-to-point -point model became more profitable for airlines, which ultimately affected the demand for these four engine giants. For passengers, choosing between the 747 and the A380 often comes down to personal preference. But the A380 usually wins the comfort contest. Its two full decks give it an incredible sense of space. The cabin is wider, the ceilings are higher, and it is noticeably quieter than the 747. This quietness reduces fatigue on long flights. Many passengers love the A380's smooth ride and the unique experience of walking up a grand staircase to the upper deck. Airlines like Emirates took full advantage of the space, installing showers for first-class passengers and a popular onboard lounge for business class. These features made the A380 a true passenger favourite. The Boeing 747, however, holds a special place in the hearts of many travellers. For decades, it was the pinnacle of air travel. Flying on the upper deck of a 747 was a unique and exclusive experience. While it can be louder than the A380, the modern 747-8 variant offers a much quieter cabin and updated interiors. The view from the front of the main deck, ahead of the wings, is spectacular. There is a certain romance and nostalgia associated with the 747. For many experienced flyers, the Queen of the Skies provides a classic and unforgettable journey that connects them to the golden age of jet travel. It is a true icon. From an airline's perspective, the story is very different. The choice is driven by economics. The Airbus A380 is a massive aircraft that is only profitable if it is flying close to full. It is very expensive to operate, with four large engines guzzling fuel. Its size also limits it to airports that have the infrastructure to handle it. This makes it inflexible. While Emirates built its entire business model around the A380 hub in Dubai, most other airlines found it too big and too costly. As a result, Airbus ended production of the A380 in 2021 after receiving far fewer orders than they had hoped for. The Boeing 747, particularly in its cargo variant, found a more sustainable path. While passenger versions of the 747 are now rare, the 747 freighter is still in high demand. Its unique nose that can be opened up allows it to carry oversized cargo that no other plane can. This has given the 747 a second life and extended its production run for much longer than the A380. For airlines, the 747 freighter became a reliable workhorse, a profitable asset for their cargo divisions. The final passenger 747 was delivered in 2017, but the last ever 747 freighter was delivered in early 2020, marking the end of an incredible production run. So, which of these giants is better for a long flight? If your priority is pure comfort, the Airbus A380 is the clear winner. The quietness of the cabin, the smoothness of the flight, and the sheer amount of personal space are unmatched. The lower cabin altitude helps reduce jet lag, making you feel more refreshed after a 14-hour journey. Let's not forget some fun facts. The A380 has about 5,000 square feet of usable floor space, the same as a luxury mansion. Its wings are so large they can hold the fuel equivalent of about 21 tanker trucks. For the ultimate relaxing journey across the globe, the A380 is hard to beat. But the Boeing 747 has its own impressive set of facts and a legacy that is impossible to ignore. 
A 747 has about six million parts and its tail is as tall as a six-story building. The 747 has also served as Air Force One, the personal transport for the President of the United States for decades, cementing its status as a symbol of power and prestige. It even carried the Space Shuttle on its back. For many, the 747 is more than just a plane, it's a piece of history. Its contribution to making global travel accessible to the masses is a legacy that the A380, for all its comforts, cannot claim in the same way. In the end, which aircraft is the true king of the skies? While the A380 is the undisputed king of passenger comfort, its reign was short and its victory was a hollow one in the eyes of the airlines. The Boeing 747, the queen of the skies, not only reigned for over 50 years, but also successfully adapted to a changing world, continuing its service as a vital cargo carrier. It changed society in a way the A380 never could. For its longevity, its revolutionary impact on travel and its enduring iconic status, I have to crown the Boeing 747 as the one true monarch of the skies. It's the original and it remains the legend. Both of these aircraft are incredible feats of human engineering and we are lucky to have witnessed this battle of the giants. What are your thoughts? Have you flown on both? Which one is your favorite? Let me know in the comments. For more deep dives into the world's most amazing aircraft and the technology behind them, make sure you follow and subscribe to our channel at Aviation Tech Zero. We have a lot more exciting content coming your way and you won't want to miss it. Thanks for reading and I'll see you on the next flight.